Hello guys, hello, it's been so long since I've made one video for you, but uh, I'm really sorry. Um, <laughs> I had a lot of work and uh, it's been crazy the past two weeks, so... Uh, but finally we are opening up shop i had to finish up the website store for our uh, company for pc repair now we'll sell some monitors cases etc but uh, yeah like i said this i will make a video once everything is finished so uh ha. did you know half-life recently had a 25 year anniversary update and uh, it's still free till today you got uh, still one day i mean like six hours left to claim half-life this is really the good og game you must get this especially if it's free i mean even 10 euro it's worth it but uh okay i will show you today that it's uh, mean playable on intel arc graphic card but uh there are some bugs in the glitches which uh we will see in a bit i will talk about it and just show you some gameplay but uh yeah I, the U ui menu changed since the last time i ran the game and uh yeah okay seems to be just some changes to the graphics in the ui but that's it let's see how the game actually performs but uh if it's anything to go buy up there guys i'm not sure why we are limited to 100 fps because uh, i do have it set to ma fps max zero so should be running way way more fps than this not really sure what's going on but uh, oh it's good to see that there are some servers now playable i mean with people in there as well <laughs> because probably people will claim the game and uh, now servers are a bit more full and people are playing which is good to see and uh, yeah here we have 1440p obviously no graphical settings in this game and uh yeah open gl is uh, bugged on intel arc in this game or something i'm not sure why because we are limited to about 35 40 50 percent usage it really depends but uh yeah the, i'm not sure why we are limited to 100 fps it's uh, really weird and uh, yeah this game i'm not sure why uh, cro crosshair was disabled what you need to do is just open up the console and uh, do the change the crosshair one and you should have it later on i will show that in the game as well but uh, yeah this is what you can expect from half-life one to work on our Intel Arc systems, you will be kept to 100 FPS. It really doesn't matter what you use, <laughs> uh, even if you try to force max FPS to more and do some uh, console. I mean, config tweaks. Nothing worked for me, but uh, if you maybe have a solution that I don't know about, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, maybe we see each other in Half-Life. Uh, server hmm? shall we go play one death match game if uh, we gather like 16 people i create a server and we go play half-life maybe uh this was the game i really spent much time in my uh, childhood years on <laughs> especially in multiplayer okay there was also obviously counter strike but uh, we also played lots of uh, half-life death match locally which was uh, really really good oh no server shutting down rip why did they do this uh yeah let me show you quickly this guys i am in gonark slayer and when i load inside i don't have any ui <laughs> i cannot pick guns uh usually when i load the map via console it, everything works just fine but on intel arc or it could be just me or maybe the latest update now you don't get any guns, you don't get nothing, so uh, if we turn on F SV cheats to 1 and uh, run the game, then uh, we do get the UI and pistol and everything, but no monster spawn, so yeah. <laughs> no guys, see I told you, FPS max still set to 0, and uh, we are getting 100 FPS. Yoy. Uh, let's do some more multiplayer match and let me do some more commentary regarding this. I will also show you in a bit this bug from vsync vsync is buggy as hell i mean if you turn it off you will see what happens oh also this you saw i wasn't able to load any game what you need to do is go to options and change that you allow third party content <laughs> once you allow the third party content i mean add-ons then you can load inside the server 
I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, look at here. The pistol kills when I join. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, but yeah. It's buggy on. I don't know. My system or is this new update bugged or um, I really don't know what's going on here. But uh, on my NVIDIA system, I get way more FPS than 100. So that I'm 100% sure, 101% <laughs> sure that it's a uh, Intel Arc problem. Maybe drivers or I don't know. Maybe game not used to work on Intel Arc, obviously. And I'm not sure how will they fix it. I mean... Not that it's not playable, 100 FPS is just fine, look, the system is not struggling. <laughs> Our Intel Arc is working only 600 MHz screen core clock speed. <laughs> it's using 50 watts. It's using the idle watts <laughs> to play this game. So, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, if Steam Deck and other system can run this, then even Intel Arc can. But, yeah, guys, see, I told you before about VSync. If you disable it, Look at what happens. We do get the idle watts of the GPU and uh, FPS drops to 20? Uh, wh why? Why did FPS drop to 20 when we disabled the V-Sync? I'm really not sure what's going on over here. God damn it. So uh, you just need to have this option turned on. It's a must if you want to get away at least above 60 FPS gameplay in Half-Life OG version. Obviously, you can just buy Black Mesa, that one works a bit better, though uh, I have video made on the Black Mesa before, lots of graphical glitches there, but I think that's now fixed. Okay, there's also this, uh, what's this new DLC, our add-on for uh, Half-Life, I'm not sure this was in the OG game, but uh, single player, look guys, it's playable. You get 100 FPS, you can finish the story just fine, and uh, yeah. I advise you to quickly go on your Steam account right up there, Half-Life, claim the game and finish the single player because, trust me, it's a really, really good game. Don't worry about the graphics, the gameplay is what it counts and the story, of course, it's you are the Dr. Freeman roaming around, going to, uh, oof, I'm not, probably everybody knows the story of this game already, even if you haven't played it, but... Uh, now is the time to claim the game and play it, for sure. As you can see, it's working just fine. Okay, there are some weird drops here and there. I'm not sure if it's related to the flashlight, if it's on or not. But uh, in some scenarios, the FPS can drop to 50, 60. It's usually when you press some loading or do something when you load new area. It's when it drops. But uh, yeah, see, here explosion. We didn't do any drops below 100. Oh man, this, I hate this, why it's crosshair disabled, oh my god, why they disable it of default when you run the game, I'm, is this just on my system or any other system, let me know down in the comments if this is, if this is on by default now that you don't have crosshair enabled, <laughs> how can you aim, let's just open up console, Cr crosshair one, ah no, this is uh, much much better. Okay guys, I will finish this video soon because I got some customers here in the shop I need to take care of, you know, uh, my uh, colleague is sick, so I uh, have less time to actually record some videos, but uh, he's coming back soon, so everything should be good, more videos coming your way. I have some in downloaded games from Xbox Game Pass, which I want you to see. So uh, I'll try to get some time free and make some more videos for you guys. I'm really sorry, it's been two weeks that I haven't posted any video. The last video we tested was City Skylines 2. Is that game still broken? <laughs> I mean broken, it should be optimized way better than <laughs> what it currently works at. But, uh, Apparently what the developer said uh, is that they will fix the game and put it to the standard that we players deserve before actually releasing any DLCs. I mean, okay, so it's not a money grab or what? <laughs> I mean, if you have Xbox Game Pass, you didn't pay any money for it, so I mean, you did this for the subscription. Much better than paying, what, 60 euro just to find out that it works 10, 20 FPS. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. That's it. 
let me know, guys, if you want me to test more DirectX 9 games. Mm, some old school games that I think were really good back in the days. We can test and see how they work in our with our Intel Arc graphic cards. Mm? What do you say? Shall we do that maybe in a future video? I probably will do that because it should be really interesting. I mean, Half-Life, it's playable, but still a bit broken. So, yeah, grab the game quickly before it's 8 o'clock my time in the evening and uh, enjoy some Half-Life gameplay. Yes, too. Anyways, guys, make sure you like this video. If you like it, dislike. If you dislike, of course, uh, let me know your inputs down in the comments below. Whatever you have to say, I will probably reply now if I have the time, of course. And... Uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see the next video coming hopefully really soon. And uh, two. I will quickly go fix now one MacBook Air. Yo. And I have two tablets to fix here. And yo. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.